statistics.com video looking at sample size calculators that use either median survival time, hazard ratio, or proportion surviving. To select them, you go to the sample size tab on rbiostatistics.com and scroll down and select the one you're after. In this video, I'm going to select median survival time. You go to the page and then you click analyze. Since I've already done this, I'll go over to the analyze tab. And you'll be presented with this page. So the thing, to, the thing to bear in mind is that this is a sample size calculator that you'll use prior to going off and undertaking any sort of uh, data collection, ideally. And you can use the median survival times either from literature or from um, any other previous experiments you may have undertaken or research to inform your values uh, for group one. So median survival time one is essentially group one and medial survival time two is essentially group two. TS and TR stand for, so TS stands for the duration of time in months that you plan to follow a patient up for, and TR stands for the duration of time that you will recruit patients. So I've selected um, a follow-up time of 24 months and an initial recruitment time of six months. My alpha value is 0 0.05 by convention, and my beta value is 0 0.2 by convention. As you change these numbers, it automatically updates. And in the summary tab, you'll be seeing that this is a fixed design two-arm trial with time to event outcome. And it has study duration at 24 months, the accrual duration of recruitment at six months, and then a number of other things that we're not gonna go into now and you can essentially ignore. You can then select the group sequential tab and this is showing you the internal mechanism through which um, this is calculating using Huang Shi uh, Dikani spending function. Um, though again, this is not necessarily uh, essential and you can move past this tab if you like. This is showing you uh, a boundary plot that is essentially a um, representation of uh, what is going on in the group sequential testing. Um, and an effect size plot as well. The important thing to know is that you want to go to total sample size. And this will say that a symmetric two-sided group sequential design um, to perform five uh, rounds of analysis. And this has calculated a required sample size of 146 participants with 122 events required, giving you the power and um, giving you the power and the alpha value uh, that you or the type 1 error rate that you had previously selected. If you were to use hazard ratio it would look like this and this in you would be using lambda 1 and lambda 2 for your hazard ratio values and if you were to use proportion surviving you would select proportion surviving 1, proportion surviving 2 and everything else would remain the same. If you've got any other questions or there's any more you want to know, you can have a look on our sample size uh, pages which have further information um, as well as the frequently asked questions at the bottom of that page as well. Thanks.